relationship question of the day. We all about the questions. And today's question is, have you ever felt like you are losing your mind trying to make a relationship work? Hmm. I mean, a relationship that is so toxic that from the outside looking in, most would say there is no way to fix it. Hmm. Only for someone to mention that you might want to try God in your relationship. The Lord? The Lord Jesus. Well, that is what we're going with Hmm. today's Building Healthy Relationships session, discussing can God fix a broken marriage? Hmm, so we're getting religious today. You got your Bible? You got your Bible? We're about to go to church today, baby. We got the Bible, got <laughs> no. the tambourine, got the word. Let's go. All right. I, I have no tambourine <laughs> rhythm, so that that ain't happening here. But, yo, thank you for joining us. Juicy Relationship <laughs> Q&A, where we have mature conversations about relationships each week. Our family is growing here on YouTube. If you'd like to join, take a moment to subscribe to get instant alerts where you can get healthy relationship tips from us, our community, or you might be able to even share and help us out. But go ahead. I know you have the message queued up, ladies. Yes, I I, do. I, 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 I will be quiet and please let do. you. Please shut up <laughs> and let me read. Let, let, let the church say amen. <laughs> yeah, amen. <laughs> Well, today's letter says, my wife and I have been having some serious challenges in our marriage. I am frequently away from home due to my career requiring extensive travel. This has placed a strain on our marriage. We have a we have constant arguments over everything from finance to how she treats our son and more. Making matters worse, while I was away, I found out from her family members that she cheated on me with her ex. She later confessed, and although I know I was wrong, I cheated on her with another woman while I was away, and she found out as well. I am at the point in my marriage where I am feeling like we should divorce, but my friend has mentioned to my family that we should try coming to church. My question is, are people way off base thinking that God can fix my marriage? Interesting. I'm thinking. Very I'm, interesting. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should turn this tea into wine. What are you thinking? Here we go. Ready? Ding. Didn't work. Cause I ain't got. However. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, but, no. Okay, so let, I mean, let, hey, let, let's be serious. Let's I'm be serious. Not God. What, what, are, what, what are your thoughts? Um, listen. I am a person of faith who strongly believes in her faith strongly believes in God and and strongly believes in prayer and going to God in prayer in all things whether it's good or bad whether I need an answer of about something or knowledge about something or afraid of something I always go to God in prayer so of course I will tell you in, in my, my humble opinion, opinion I do think that prayer can restore your marriage. I will say this though. A lot of times one person can be on the other end of that situation and the other person can be on a totally different end of that situation. So while you may be thinking to yourself, I'm going to start praying. I'm going to start going to church. I I want my marriage to work. I want it to be fixed. I want us to be together. I want us to be a family. Your wife may not be in agreement to that. I do personally think that, yes, with faith, with belief, with trust, absolutely. Give it a try. Thank you, Reverend. And and, conti- Ooh, continue. and I, I will be collecting my my uh, pay directly after the show. Thank you very much. From the Church of Rochelle. Thank, thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Reverend. No, no. Let me get my collection play real but, quick. But in all seriousness, I, I, I do respect the question. I do want to come at this though is whether you believe in God or not there are still a lot of key elements that I think that many faiths share Mm -hmm. when it comes to you know your marriage implementing those God-like principles I mean think about it one of the one of the biggest I mean it's kind of hard to go anywhere in the world without somebody knowing the name of Jesus when you look at the life of Jesus that's written in the Bible, it says that Jesus died on the cross for the sins of the world. So people that didn't even deserve it, Jesus mm-hmm. gave his his life 
for that. Mm-hmm. And, and there's a, a scripture that a lot of couples use when they get married from Ephesians 5 and 25. I see it now. It says, husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Mm-hmm. So I, I think a big part of faith and implementing faith into your marriage deals with sacrifice. Um a lot of times we're looking for answers. We're always looking for answers through life. And then not to mention when we get married or we we start a family, things happen that we're like, my God, you know, I need answers. I need help. Most importantly, I need peace. And no. like Frankie said, um, praying or going to church or, or, or getting forming a relationship with God. God is all about peace. He is a God of peace. He is a God of love. So those things that you are looking for are in him. Those things that you want are in him for your marriage, also for your life. So I would say start uh, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. I like it. I like it. it. You know, don't just just jump in all willy nilly all, you know, because sometimes we can we can start things and it. It may look like it's not going how we think it should be going or it's not moving fast enough. But you also have to put the trust in there. You got to trust the process. You have to trust the process to get to to understand that the peace, the understanding and the love all works together, which is what you're looking for in your relationship. Not only that, but you're looking to reconcile. So once you get all these three components and bring that into your relationship and you're you're working on reconciliation, those three things are going to be the major three things. Because for one, you want to be able to trust your wife again after she had an affair. She wants to be able to, tr- to trust you after you had an affair. And you guys want to restore the love. When the love comes, the peace comes. And there is nothing more important in a marriage than love, trust, and peace. Can God fix a broken marriage? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, up until this point, it seems like everything else ain't working. So, And it's not going to work. It, if, it, if, it's, if it's toxic related, if it's anything toxic, if it's anything outside of your relationship that is not adding to your relationship for the betterment of this relationship, it is not going to work. So long story short, try God, try God, try Jesus, baby. Try it, you know, try him. And that's a wrap right here. Thanks for watching. Also coming up here at the bottom of the screen are videos for you.